Hey everyone, Mike here, Mike's Awesome Mods, and here we go again. I'm actually changing the uh, one of the studs, possibly two of the studs on my front wheel. I was having a hard time getting the, uh, um, the lug nut off whenever I was taking the wheel off, and that's a sure sign that something's going to be going on with these studs. Uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of making this an impromptu, got to kind of do this quickly, an impromptu video, so I'm using my phone and not the whole setup that I usually do. So hopefully the wind isn't too bad, I'm going to try to cut it down. But anyway, uh, let me show you what the problem is and um, what I've done so far. Okay, like I said, I got the, um, the wheel off and actually I took the caliper off as well. It's kind of hanging there. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, actually I have a video that shows how to change the calipers and brakes and stuff. You can do that. It's, it's pretty simple, just two bolts in the back. Um, but anyway, here's the problem. This, as you can see when I put this on, goes in pretty much all the way far enough that it is easy peasy. I can even do it with my fingers. That's how easy that one is. However, this one, when I try to put it on, boom, it's already stopped. So the threads are messed up somewhere in here. And I think there's another one that's, uh, yeah, that one's pretty good. I think, I, think it, I think this is the other one, possibly. So what we need to do is obviously we need to take the rotor off and then see how easy it's going to be to, to take these off from the back. I have brand new ones. I actually have five brand new ones. I ordered them. Uh, they are General Motors Originals. I had somebody change one of these off before because uh, I was in a super duper hurry and he said I had to take the whole freaking hub off, which I really don't have, hope I don't have to do. Hopefully he just didn't know what he was talking about. But I'm going to try to get this thing out of here from the back. I might need a hammer or something like that because uh, that's what I had to use in the back one. So the reason this is like this, it's actually self-inflicted. I was using a, uh, I guess an impact drill to uh, to put them on there and doing the old lugga dugga when I got on there nice and tight. Uh, and you're not supposed to do that. Uh, I, changed, I found it the hard, hard way. And as often as I've changed these wheels or these tires for autocross, it was just too much. The heat and everything else just kind of screws these up whenever you're using that because it's spinning really fast, heats it up, supposedly messes it up. Um, you can, I think you can actually go to a certain point just to kind of spin those on there, but then once you get close to the lug nut being in there, you got to use it, do it by hand at 100 uh, foot pounds for torque. I didn't do that, and now I'm paying the price. So anyway, I got to get this thing out of here. Apparently the guy that um, they changed it before put that back in there. This is actually, it doesn't even need to be in there. This is mainly for assembly keep the rotor from bouncing back and forth whenever they have the car going down the assembly line so I might just leave that out because it's a pain in the butt. Um, so let me go ahead and take this rotor off and see what we're going to have to deal with. All right nice and loose actually this was a little bit tight to begin with. Ugh, one handing it is rough. All right rotor is off. Here are the studs and like I said oh this is kind of spun around so I'm going to have to see which one I have to get out of there but if you look it's this is kind of like angled and it goes down so there might be enough 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 gap sorry i'm using my phone enough gap here that will give me room to get it out from the back i know it's hard to see but that might give me enough room so i'm actually going to hate to do it to you guys put the camera down take a look at it see if it's possible to do and then i'll just kind of show you what i did when i'm done but the, the goal is to maybe knock it out from this end push it through and hopefully it gets past this little angled part here of the uh, of the hub and I can just put the uh, the new bolt back in the same way all right so this is the offending stud right here as you can see as soon as I try to put it on it just kind of stops right there obviously the threads are messed up so I have it on this kind of angled part here. So I need to do, take my hammer, knock it off in the front. It should come out the back. It might be a little angled in there, so it might be a little bit difficult, but um, that's how I did the rear one. And hopefully this one will be uh, just as simple. So let me go and bang on this thing and see if I can get off. I'll get it out of there. And there it goes. So now, to be able to put the other one back in, probably do it the same way, gonna kind of angle it in there the best we can and bang it from the back. 
All right, here's the new stud. And as you can see, it's kind of cut off on that little side there. And that is so that you can slide it in a little bit easier um, because it's not the full round thing. Once we get it in there, then I have another tool that snugs up these little teeth to the inside teeth here. If we can kind of see it, there's actually little teeth in there. Uh, to those teeth to keep it in there and uh, keep it in there permanently. So I am going to try to see, get it in there like so. All right, I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time as rough. Okay, again, I got the flat part there. I'm probably gonna have to tap on it from the back uh, like this. Let me see if I can just do it with the camera a little bit here. Like so, but you can see obviously it's not fully in. And this is why we use uh, this tool right here. Basically, I'm gonna put that on the front, put the uh, put the lug nut in there, and I crank it down. And when you're cranking down the lug nut, it'll actually pull this in into those little uh, into those little teeth, and it should be good to go. Okay, so here's the tool. It's real simple. They got kind of a angled part in the middle there. You just basically put it on the stud and then you're going to take a lug nut we're going to put it inside there and then we're going to crank the lug nut down and what it's going to do is it's going to suck this back part in uh, or suck the um the stud in from the back and tighten up on those little uh, those little teeth that are in there so that is what i'm going to do now let's see if we can see it getting pulled in from the back, so we're tightening it down. Actually, I forgot about it, the whole thing moving. Uh, let's see. Obviously, it is working because it's moving the whole wheel. So let me somehow get this thing stopped. All right, it is done. It is cranked in there nice and easy. Uh, and actually took a Lug nut, right? You guys on there nice and easy as well. So that's done. All I need to do is put the rotor back on and uh, caliper back on and uh, my wheels back on. Okay, wheel is back on. The studs are uh, looking good now. It was very easy to put the lug nuts on, thank goodness. And um, before I go, I have a few thoughts on this, uh, this situation and how you can avoid it. All right, so you might be wondering why in the world would I have to change a stud uh, in the first place, let alone a stud in the front and a stud in the back. Uh, most of you probably never had to deal with that before or even take it to a mechanic before or never even heard of changing the studs uh, in general. Uh, I'm kind of a different case because I autocross my car and I change my wheels, uh, not so much this year, but the last few years I've been changing my wheels back and forth from daily to race, uh, race wheels probably three or four times a month. Um, so I would probably change my wheels in one month or two months more than a typical person would change uh, their wheels out in an entire lifetime. So obviously that put a lot of strain on the studs and things. So I would typically use an, uh, an impact drill, which, you know, if you tighten it down with an impact drill and it does that at the, at the end, then I would hand tighten it after that. But by then it was too late. I've heard different situations where the impact drill will, you know, because it's going on that stud so fast, it causes them to heat up. and. When you do that many, many times, um, that causes a serious issue. So um, anyway, the fact of the matter is I did uh, I did screw up that front stud. I knew it was gonna be a problem whenever I put the, the lug nut on the last time I changed the tire to my race tires. And I knew that I'd never be able to get it off if I did it uh, a couple more times. So I figured, you know what? I might as well fix the problem. The weather was nice, fix it now. I won't have to worry about it later on. So. Um, so hopefully that's it. Hopefully the rest of my studs are fine, or at least they're good enough that uh, I can last the rest of the season. And maybe I'll just swap them all out. I, I already swapped out the rear ones when I did the one. I figured, you know what, screw it. I'll do all five of them. Um, so we'll see what the other sides do. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and um, I will see you in the next video.